Hello again and welcome back to Operations Management. In this session, we're going to talk about capacity analysis and I have an additional problem for you. Several people have contacted me asking for additional problems in different areas and this is one of them. So let's get started. In this problem, we're dealing with a group of people who are building charity food boxes. So they are a local charity that makes up food boxes for the elderly. Volunteers are only available for five hours a day, four days a week, but they want to make 150 boxes each week. There are three components to making a food box. They have to select the canned goods, they have to pack the goods into the box, and seal and stack the box. There are two volunteers assigned to each task. Now you can see the amount of time that's required for each of these activities. And now based on this information, what is the process capacity per day? Can they meet their target of 150 boxes per week? What is the current bottleneck of this operation? And if you assume that every volunteer is capable of doing every job, how would you reassign the volunteers and what is your new process capacity per day? So what we're going to do is we're going to walk through this problem and you can see that these are the key pieces of information. They are available five hours a day, four days a week. So this helps us figure out our time available. Our goal is 150 boxes. We have the time required, which is the unit load for each one of the resource pools. We have a resource pool for selecting the canned goods, one for packing the goods, and one for sealing and stacking the boxes. And we have how many resources that are available in each pool. There's two volunteers for each task. So now we're going to put it into a grid so that we can analyze the capacity. So we have our resource pools, the unit load in hours, the time available per person per day, which was given as five hours per day. We have two volunteers for each of the resources and they work four days a week. So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be calculating the total time available per day, then the effective capacity per day, and then the effective capacity per week. So when we look at the total time per day, we have two resources, two volunteers, working five hours a day. So there's 10 hours available for each of the resource pools. So when we calculate the effective capacity per day, we take the time available divided by the time needed, which is their unit load, and we can see that selecting canned goods yields 28.57 boxes per day, 83.33 for packing and 40 for sealing and stacking. But that's per day and we're trying to meet 150 in a week and they work four days a week. So we're just going to multiply our effective capacity per day by the four days a week. So we can see our smallest number of boxes per week is in the selecting canned goods. We can only do 114 and 0.28. So that is our bottleneck right there. So in answer to our question, based on this information, what is our process capacity per day? It's 28.57 boxes. Can they meet their target of 150? No, they cannot. And our current bottleneck is select canned goods. Now, the last one was, if we assume that every volunteer is capable of doing every job, how would you reassign the volunteers and what is your new process capacity per day? So let's take a look at this. We have excess capacity, and that excess capacity is in the area of packing goods. Notice it's more than double our intended 150 because we're over 300. So since we're over double there, what if we move one of the resource units, one volunteer from packing goods and move it to selecting canned goods? And when we do that and we recalculate our effective capacity per day and then our boxes per week, we see that now we can meet that 150 requirement. We have 171 in selecting canned goods, 166.67 in packing goods, 
and our sale and stack box is 160. Now we look at this and we realize that our bottleneck has now moved. It's no longer selecting canned goods, it is now seal and stack boxes. So by moving one person from the packing to the selecting, we reduced the excess capacity from packing and added it to the bottleneck so that yielded an overall effective capacity of 40 per day because we have a new bottleneck in the seal and stack and we have a weekly capacity of 160. So one of the big things about capacity analysis is once we identify the bottleneck and see whether we have excess capacity, we can move that excess capacity over to the bottleneck to be able to increase our overall throughput. There'll be another operations uh, supplemental problem in capacity analysis, and I hope to see you for that one.